Hey guys, what's up? We got another week of pickups here. Um, my sister lives down south for me, and there was a big auction um, with about seven truckloads of things, but I couldn't go, so I had something else to do. But uh, yeah, I told her to look out for video games for me, and she found a couple things for good prices. So, <clears throat> well, this, this was a really good price, but. Uh, she said no one bid on, let's see, uh, okay, first of all, it's a PS2, <laughs> and, uh, she said one, she called me and said, uh, PS2 just went for a dollar, she's like, do you want me to bid on another one if one comes, I said, yeah, because <laughs> she didn't know if I wanted a PS2 or not, because it's an older system or whatever, but, yeah, this is only a dollar, needs to be cleaned up. Power's on, but I don't know if it if it plays because I just hooked up the power cord to it. Um, but yeah, so I got that for a dollar, which is awesome. And then she sent me a picture of this in a crate. I was like, oh, <laughs> definitely buy that. So first thing was the Jungle Book complete. The top is a little chipped up up here, but. Sonic 2, of course, not for resale, complete. <clears throat> Sonic Spinball and the Cardboard uh, one, with the black and white manual. Tom and Jerry Frantic Antics. This box is a little crushed, but no big deal. Tom and Jerry there. And it came with the manual, and I think all the cardboard boxes had black and white manuals, so that kind of sucks, but Disney's Aladdin. I actually have the regular version of this too, the non-cardboard edition, and it's just a game, I think. Yeah, it's just a game. <coughs> and then Sonic and Knuckles. I've never really seen this um, boxed anywhere, so I was glad to get that. It's in pretty decent shape. And then Batman Forever. And that's has an insert in the game, but no, no actual manual. Um, so for all those games, she I told her to bid up to twenty dollars, and that's what it went to. So twenty bucks for all those isn't isn't too bad. Right, and then she actually said that after after someone bid on it and it was ended, she said uh, there's a Dreamcast with a ton of games. I was like. And it only went, it, it sold for $30, a Dreamcast with who knows what. So, probably like 15, 20 games, and that was a big loss, but oh well. Maybe I'll find something next time. Well, maybe I'll, I'll come with next time, get all it, you know, get good deals. Alright, and then, uh, went to this pawn shop the other day, and I bought two Super Nintendo, one... Nintendo game, and the first game, the Nintendo game, we got Tiger Heli. I heard a lot of good stuff about this game, so I decided to pick it up. Um, and then Time Tracks, I just, I just looked at it and I just bought it. Um, I don't know if it was gonna be any good. And then I got Super Strike Eagle, literally, um, which is like a jet fighting game. I paid ten dollars for three of those, and then I got. Um, there are these two boxes there, Bugs Life for 64, it's a little faded, but, um, and then Rogue Spear for Game Boy Advance, and I have both of these now, and he threw them in for free, so, the guy said that, um, if you buy two games, you get two boxes, it doesn't matter if it's the right box or not, so, I thought that was pretty awesome, so, got those. And then I went to a Goodwill, or, yeah, a Goodwill, and I've been looking for this for a while, just because I, I, I see videos of it, and um, I think I actually rented this back in the day when this game came out, but it's Banjo-Kazooie, and I just watched it yesterday, and it's in really, you know, really good shape or whatever, but I just watched it yesterday, and they had upcoming games. And they called, 
there was a Conker's game that was coming out at this time. It was in 1998. Conker's Bad Fur Day came out in 2001. And it was called Conker's Pocket, 12 Pocket Tales, or no, 12 Tales of Conker 64 or something. And it was just, just Conker standing there and like the camera like going around him. So it wasn't like any game at all, but that's what it was originally called, I guess. And it turned into Bad Fur Day, which is way different. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> I went to a different Goodwill, and... I got some DVDs that were a pretty good price. I got Peter Pan for $2. This is for my wife. And this is like a $20, $20 DVD at you know, Target or whatever. So, that was a good deal. And then the next thing was a really good deal. Um, it's like just came out. It's a Blu-ray at Men in Black 3 for $3. It's awesome. It's in like perfect shape. I don't know if it plays, but I'm sure it does. It's a Blu-ray that always works. So. And it's in perfect condition, no scratches or anything. Alright, and then the next thing I got was Batman the Animated Series, Season 3. And this was only $2, sealed, so I just picked it up. Um, maybe I'll get into it, my buddy wants me to get into it, so I'll, I'll check it out. And then also, same day, I got, same place, I got Shadow Hearts Strategy Guide, and it's in really good shape. Psycho Kid in the back. Um, yeah, I picked it up because it's RPG, RPG strategy guides, pretty nice and awesome to have. So, and they have really good art. So, and then a different Goodwill picked up PS2 controller blue for two dollars. It's in like perfect shape. So I picked it up. <coughs> and the last thing I picked up. Um, is this, uh, it's Fortune Street for a Wii, and, um, it was used at Target, and this game, it's hard to find for, well, I think it's gonna be hard to find in the future, so, um, it was only $13 used, um, it was the only Mario game in, in the used section, so, I picked it up, it was in really good shape, there's no Nintendo, um, uh, points or whatever, but, basically complete, so, so I picked that up, and it's, it's basically like a Monopoly, Monopoly type game, so that's all I got, I've got another video I'm going to be making soon, um, I picked up something awesome, and, um, yeah, so, see you guys later.